Peacemaker's moveset in Mortal Kombat 1 is really unique and allows you, the player, so many different ways to play, giving you so many different strategies and game plans. So at that point, what cameos should you be using with Peacemaker and why? Well, here are just a few of my favorite cameos to use with Peacemaker. First and foremost, if you want to just go for straight damage, and I mean like all you want to do is damage, which is totally fine, I would recommend using Striker or Kano. And here's why. Peacemaker has some really good strings like back to four, forward four one, many different options. But the point is you can also cancel those into your back forward one gunshot special move. And after that, you can use your cameo like Striker or Kano. And that looks something like this. So you see right there, Striker is allowing us and extending the combo, allowing us to continue it. And you can even do that twice in a row. So here we can do forward four one gunshot cameo twice like this. So right there, 320 damage just by those two strings alone. And we haven't even started the combo yet. That same concept applies to Kano, by the way. So whether you're using Striker or Kano, here's how a full combo using that strategy might look. We can continue from there, but that alone was 500 damage. We can either go and do the fatal blow from right there. We can cancel that grab combo and do an enhanced uh, gunshot for even more combo extension. So yeah, Striker, Kano really offer Peacemaker even more damage than he's already got. And he's got some pretty good damage by himself. A big note about Peacemaker is he does not have any lows or overheads in his strings at all. We have specials for lows, yes. And we have specials for overheads. So as you can see, Peacemaker really lacks in the mix-up department, and Striker can extend in combos, yes, but Striker also allows Peacemaker for mix-ups. We can go for the overheads, we can go for the lows. Striker just really helps Peacemaker's weakness with the mix-up game, and of course, combo extension. Like I said with Kano, we can do that same exact combo we were doing earlier with the knife throw. And that's all great. But another reason why I like using Kano is actually his laser eye cameo move here. As you can see, even from mid screen and even on block, that really pushes our opponent kind of far away. We're not full screen, no, but we got some really good space. And the reason why that matters is Peacemaker really kind of wants that space in some situations, allowing us to put our force field force up, field. go project on vulnerable, maybe zone our opponent out, go for the overhead. So Kano there can create the space you might want, allows for combo extension. And of course, Kano can make your unsafe specials and or strings uh, safe as well. So again, just multiple benefits that Kano offers to Peacemaker. Another cameo that I love using is Jax, because our force field actually force negates field. Jax's ground pound, allowing our opponent to be pressured by it, but we don't have to worry about it. So we can call out Jax, we throw a force field, our opponent's pressured, then we're good to go. And that also works for your opponent wants to throw out Jax. Force field force up, field. we're good to go. We ain't gotta worry about it no more. Plus Jax allows us to easily combo off of our Sonic, Sonic. Boom here. So we get combo extension, we get good pressure. Jax has got some pretty good synergy with Peacemaker. Also, real quick, my dudes, if you're enjoying the content, keep in mind we have new videos twice a week and we stream at least twice a week. And we have daily shorts. So if you want all that, subscribe here for more. But probably my favorite cameo to use is going to be Scorpion. And let me explain. You can do some really good damage. Yes, we're not doing quite strike or Kano damage, but we get good damage. And in my opinion, when it comes to a cameo, damage isn't everything. I know, crazy, right? I'm a firm believer that your cameo should also offer utility. And we got really good utility with scorpion cameo we got the full screen armored reset move again this is great for creating that space that you might want as a peacemaker player to either zone out your opponent go projectile on vulnerable go for the overhead teleport get in their face and say psych i'm just kidding go back again and just do it all over again that's good utility and yes we get combo extension off of our sonic boom sonic. like this and you can utilize that in a full combo like this So that's also great. And not only that, but Scorpion offers the overhead option just for some kind of mix up. Cause again, Peacemaker really lacks in the mix up department. So full screen armored reset, yes. Combo extension, yes. Mix up game with an overhead, yes. Peacemaker benefits off of everything that Scorpion Cameo offers. I like Kung Lao for that same reason though. We get the back hat, which is the low, and that can be good for mix ups. As you know, you can hold that and go for the teleport. That's a low overhead mix. So that's some pretty crazy stuff. We get combo extension, of course. 
And if you don't like the way the Peacemaker's mobility options are, well, Kung Lao as a cameo gives you that teleport, allowing you to have that mobility option. So do you want the full screen armor to reset that Scorpion gives you? Because at this point, they both offer, you know, some kind of mix up and combo extension. When it comes to utility and mobility, do you want the full screen armor reset or do you want the teleport that it offers you? Every player is different. At that point, I would decide how do you want to play? I think they're both great, but I prefer Scorpion. But again, I think Kung Lao is awesome. If you wanted to go basic and easy, there's nothing wrong with that. You can always rely on Serena. We get awesome combo extension, of course. And whenever you get the chance, you can throw out the standard Serena move here and drain your opponent's bar. And that's just a good utility that any character can benefit from. I don't personally use Serena because we already got a good combo extension with other cameos. And we already have a projectile, so we don't really need Serena's projectile. But again, she's good. She's easy. Nothing wrong with that. If I had to choose, I'd probably say either Striker or Scorpion are my favorites. Probably Scorpion for the overhead and for the full screen armor reset. But I wouldn't blame you for choosing any one of these or all the other cameos. But with that being said, let me know down below what cameos do you like to use with Peacemaker and why subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos for more guides